everyone. I'm Tammy. Um, have you ever taken a quiz online? I have. What color am I? Green. What Disney princess? Snow White. And I'm a dynamic and inspiring entrepreneur. How do I know? A quiz told me. How about you? Have you ever done a quiz? They're fun, right? So as someone who loves connecting with others and building really vibrant communities, I'm always looking for fun ways to engage with them. And I've used quizzes before, but they took days, sometimes even weeks to create. Not anymore. Today, I'll be sharing how to quickly and easily engage with your audience through quizzes using Ruby. Makes it just like so fast. So quizzes are a gold mine for getting to know your customers better. They reveal what your audience truly wants and needs. They allow you to tailor your offerings right to them. Saves you so much time and money and really boosts your um, business, business efficiency. Plus quizzes are a magnet for driving traffic to your website and social media pages. Facebook, Instagram, even LinkedIn. People like they quizzes. go online for the distraction, but a quiz kind of helps them feel distracted while feeling productive. So that's that's a win-win, right? They're not just for fun. They're also a brilliant way to learn more about your audience and offer them something truly valuable. So how do you create a quiz that really hits the mark? First, you need to think about what do you want to achieve with this like what is it that you're doing want to do so are you looking to boost engagement gather insights uh, maybe showcase your expertise having a clear goal will really guide you in what kinds of questions you want to ask and you want to keep it relevant and connected to your business objectives while keeping in mind that the quiz is really just leading them to the next step so whatever that you meet them where they are with the quiz and then by the end of the quiz, you're meeting them with the next step. So there must be something at the end of the quiz that they get. So when developing the topic of your quiz, ask yourself, uh, what are the common questions? What are the hurdles that they face? What are the obstacles that they face? What's holding them back? And then you tailor your quiz to address these, which will pique their interest and show them that, that you understand and you care about them. Like they're gonna feel seen and heard when they find themselves in the quiz. So in crafting the quiz, you want your audience to feel like they're having a friendly chat, right? They're just talking to you. They, they're talking to somebody that understands them, that gets them. Do warm and conversational. You could do fun and inspiring. You can do whatever, whatever works for you. Be you, be your real you, but utilize Ruby as the tool as she's meant to be. So you could also sprinkle in some lighthearted questions or scenarios to make your, your reader smile, like calm their, their breathing and, and remind them that they're having a good time. This isn't this isn't a test in college. This is this is for learning and growth. So adding in a little fun and then is the last okay. is offer personalized results and insights that provide real value. Nothing's more frustrating than getting to the end of a quiz or this free workshop or whatever, and there's nothing there. Like it totally takes everything, every bit of um, value that you may have gained up to that point it, and, it, and it wipes it all away. So whether you give them tips, resources, um, real encouragement, like next step kind of stuff, you leave them feeling empowered and ready to take the next step on the journey because that's the whole point of the quiz. For example, you can use enticing titles like uh, discover your business, grow superpower, or what's your entrepreneurial style? Then encourage them with a sign up so that you can use it on your website as your lead magnet, right? So sign up now and or take this quiz. So subscribe, they subscribe, then they get an email or they get sent to your web page, whatever it is that works for you, where they can take the quiz. At the end of the quiz, there's a next steps. So Sign up for my Facebook group or sign up for my membership, my low cost point membership, whatever it is you have, or sign up for a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Like come find me and I'll help you with this thing. Whatever you do at the end of the quiz, there, there's a next step for them. What are they gonna do next? And then it also helps you to segment your list. So it allows you to send more targeted and relevant content. It keeps them coming back for more because you've already engaged them. You've already proven you understand them. 
you've sent them on to the next step, they're ready. Like they're waiting to hear from you. They can't wait to learn more from you. So it's a win-win again, providing them value, building stronger relationships, and you're still have time and energy to do what you want to do. So start by brainstorming a few ideas that align with your goals and resonate with your audience's interests. Remember, you, you've got a community, right? We've already talked about that. They're, they're eager to hear from you, so, so use that. Use your creative creativity and insights to craft quizzes that engage, but also provide value. While you have their attention, you wanna offer them solutions. That's what I'm looking for. You wanna offer them solutions while they're engaged. So types of quizzes to consider. Personality quizzes. Encourage your audience to explore their health personas. Like I know a lot of people are in the health and wellness. So uh, what type of wellness seeker are you? Or discover your inner health guru. These insights help them align with their practices and where they want to go. Or knowledge quiz. Test your nutrition know-how. Or how well do you understand your body's needs? Or maybe a challenge quiz. You could do a 30-day challenge, like a 30-day mindfulness challenge and you take it at the beginning of the 30 days where they're at you meet them where they're at they you offer a solution and then at the end of the 30 days they can actually take it again and see if they've changed or not it doesn't matter uh you could also do like a boost your fitness routine challenge or read a day every day challenge or journal every day whatever it is that works for you just do that. Or goal setting challenge. How about what's your next milestone? Or are you ready to transform your journey? Or how about a trends insight? Like whatever's trending, maybe how well do you know the latest AI marketing trends? You know, but it need you need to know the answers though. <laughs> because Ruby can put it all together, but it's all about you. So when when Ruby's done. You take the questions, you verify that they are that they work for your target audience in your niche and that they're accurate. Reword them a little bit, make sure that they come out in your voice and then use them. So what I did, I, I don't know, maybe a month ago, really wanted a quiz from my target audience. And I spent the whole morning working with Ruby to really flesh out what I wanted it to do. She easily gave me the questions, but then I wanted it to have a rating system. And then I wanted it to give me an answer key back so that I could send this whole quiz to my audience. They would take the quiz, assign a number value, total the number value, and at the bottom of the quiz would be the answer key. And here is the prompt I came up with. Ruby, I'd like you to create a comprehensive 25 question quiz to assess my small business owners for which business growth strategy suits you best? The quiz should have clear instructions and a rating scale for each question, ranging from one to five. So they'll rate the questions from one to five. After the quiz questions, please provide a scoring system that categorizes the total score into five levels. For each level, include tailored solutions and recommendations to help address their unique challenges and direct them to the best solutions. Please make sure the quiz scoring system and solutions are complete and accurate. And jump over to Ruby. And there's my, I use Ruby a lot. So here we go, we'll go to a brand new one. You want a new chat. You're going to pick whichever one works for you, right? Um, I picked a persona. I want it friendly and supportive, but you can pick any of these that you want. And I want this one to be encouraging. So, and the prompt will be available to you. Hit enter. Let's see what she does. And look at that. From weeks to seconds. There's the quiz questions. Now you could take this and put it in a PDF and send it out in your email. You could simply paste it into an email auto response. So when they sign subscribe for your website, they get an auto response email and the quiz is right in there. In the email as an attachment on a page on your website, whatever works for you. And then look, they take their quiz. This says if they score between 25 and 44, their enhancement through stability, and here's their solution. Boom, right there. I've seen them, I've heard them. I understand where they're coming from and I've told them where to go. So then at the bottom of this would be next step. 
join my my Facebook group. Join my amazing membership. Looking for a one-on-one? -on -one? Be sure to connect with me below. What, whatever it is that works for you, that's what you need to do. I hope that that was valuable to you. And I cannot wait to see the quizzes that you create. I think they're super fun. And I had a really good time doing this for you.